making Macomb haunting last words before leaving one key revealed. Finding Freedom co-author Bernard Scurvy revealed that her working final words Megan Macomb told him before she stepped down as the senior royal. Scurvy co-wrote the controversial biography of Prince Harry and Megan Macomb, along with co-author Carolyn Duran. The two say the book is their way to rehumanize the sentences after being misrepresented. Megan's haunting last words to the monarchy it didn't have to be this way. Megan's haunting words to Scopey as she bid her final goodbye to the monarchy. Staff who had been with the couple from day one were mourning the end of what was supposed to be a happy story, he said. Two people fall in love, get married, have a baby, serve the queen, the end. According to Express, everything could have turned out differently for the couple but they chose to step back from their royal duties. They both wanted to be financially independent and leave the royal family. As a result, they could no longer carry out any official engagements on behalf of Queen Elizabeth II. Meghan Markle bid farewell to her royal staff. Prince Harry and Meghan officially stepped down as senior royal in match. As Megan said goodbye to the staff at Buckingham Palace, Scopey revealed her story to soak. Tears that the Duchess had been briefly holding back were free to flow among family faces, he said. Her Mary Claire, she emotionally bid much love at farewell with her flight home to Canada living in a matter of hours. At the time, Megan chose to fly back to Canada on the last commercial flight of the day. She was eager to arrive in Vancouver in the near morning. So, Archie would not wake up without her. The reason behind Prince Harry and Meghan's makes it. Prince Harry and Meghan made their way out of royal family to have a more private life. However, Scopey and Duran reveal it was the monarchy's lack of support and the press mistreatment of them that led to their unhappiness. They felt very unsupported within the institution of the monarchy, they say. And it left them very vulnerable because, of course, those were stuck. They caused great damage. They continue. And I think it really is why they're such a polarizing couple to this day. Prince Harry and Lady Marple moved from Canada to Los Angeles when they officially stepped down as senior royals. They used to live in Tyler Paris' $18 million mansion until they recently bought the house in Santa Barbara worth $40 million.